Hello and welcome. My name is Benoit Paliquet. I'm the founder and one of the portfolio managers here at Exponent Investment Management. The video you're currently watching is the third quarter 2020 short review. Let's get started, shall we? So let's look at the parameters or the drivers of the performance for the third quarter. The first one is the reopening of the economy uh, globally and we're especially in the US and Canada and in Europe. Also, we saw a resurgence in, in COVID cases in the south of the U.S., so places that were largely uh, or less affected by the, the first wave, if you will, in March and April, places like Florida, um, the southeast, and the southwest. Job growth. Well, during the, 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 the height of the pandemic, we had unemployment rates in the, in the 20% range, and now we're in the 10% range. So, so we did see significant job growth, both in Canada and the U.S., and the consumer, as the economy opened up, uh, came back in droves. But the, the spending was focused. So you had leisure um, and home improvement largely taking up most of the dollars that were freed up by the fact that no one could go anywhere. So travel, leisure, uh, or sorry, travel, entertainment, and hospitality uh, effectively were zero. So if your business was, uh, so that leads to the, the, the K-shaped recovery. So the have and the have-nots, which largely is thanks to technology. So if your business or your solution could be provided either in a socially distant way, thanks to technology, so think of a, a manufacturing plant with a lot of robots, or if you were able to provide your, your, your services or your solutions or your sales through Zoom or effectively electronically, you would have done very well. In fact, you probably are further ahead because you're spending in terms of the, the hospitality entertainment and travel is effectively gone to zero. So you really have the, a chasm created by the, the have and the have nots. The new trends emerged, so and the acceleration of existing ones. So existing trends would be obviously the death of the mall. No one's really was going to the mall pre-COVID when the mall shut down. Anyone that was left going to the mall simply hasn't gone. And we've really learned to 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 buy, if you will, electronically or or through the web. New trends work from home. I would say is a new trend because it was while some pockets were we're still uh, benefiting from work from homes, obviously from home uh, arrangements. Now we're seeing this, this obviously everyone uh, who can is working from home. So as an example, new boat registrations are up 32%. So if your job is secure, you're still making the same type of income and you can't travel anywhere, you can't go to the restaurant, you can't go to a sports game or the theater, what are you going to do with your family? Well, many people decided to take up boating. Registrations in the U.S. in 2020 are up 32%. The flip side of that, the, the trade is the, the have-nots, if you will, is foot traffic. So here what we have here is the... Um, the Metro Transport Authority day-by-day -day ridership. So effectively, who's riding the subway in Manhattan? Pre-COVID levels, we've got four to five million people a day taking the subway. During the depth of the pandemic, that level is down to 95 or 5% of the pre-existing levels. We're now back to call it 2 million, two million people riding the subway down from five. So if your business it relies on foot traffic to either sell your suits, sell your, your sandwiches, your coffee, or your dry cleaning, you're in a world of hurt right now. Again, back to the K-shape recoveries, there's the haves and the have-nots. Let's look at the performance. In short, technology drove everything. The NASDAQ, was this, which is the heaviest of the technology indices or stock indices with technology in it, is up 40% for 12 months. 20, almost 28% for the year, and up 9% in Canadian dollar terms. The S&P 500, again in Canadian dollar terms, is up 7%, 8.3 for the year, and almost 16% on, on a 12-month basis. The Canadian index, which has a much smaller tech component, is up 4.7 for the year, but still down, uh, sorry, 4.7 for the quarter, still down 3.1 for the year, and is flat on a 12-month basis. Over in Europe, same type of story where we're, we're getting um, negative returns across the board, largely because the indices in Europe don't have or have very little um, technology indices. Emerging markets are, are bouncing back. We still have a 8.7, largely on currency. This, these, these numbers are in Canadian dollar terms. Um, 
the CAD still flat. Um, the oil price is down from the 60 plus dollar range pre-COVID um, up slightly for the quarter around $40. The VIX, which is the measure of volatility, we are down from obviously heightened levels, but um, up substantially from pre-COVID levels. The other two numbers I'd like to illustrate are the that I think are important are the yields that investors are accepting to put away their money or invest their money in government bonds. In Canada, you're get, you are accepting if you want to buy a bond for the next 10 year, you're locking in 0.56% and in the US 0.69 at the end of the quarter. These numbers are, are down substantially from pre-COVID levels and it'll be interesting to see what where rates go on a, on a go forward basis. Thank you very much for watching. If you're looking for more in-depth information, please stay tuned for our lo much longer full review video. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line at the address on the screen. Thank you for watching.